Hi guys, EMXPy here again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're meeting for another video about AI. I've recently started to work with AI and here's the first video, to present you ChatGPT. I think you have heard a lot about it, but it could be hard sometime to use it the right way. So I'll show you some tips to improve the way you're working with it. And by the way, this introduction has been fully generated by an AI, from the text of this introduction, the image used to create this avatar, and the animation to create a full AI avatar. So if you want to know how I made this complete animation, using only AI, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the bell. I'll share a video each week in a full series, show you step by step how to create your own avatar. Ready? Let's start with ChatGPT then. So, here is in the face of ChatGPT. Uh, once you've logged in with your Google account or the account you've created, uh, you will access this chat and there is a prompt down here. Uh, um, you can see here, once well, since I'm connected, uh, I have uh, already generated some chats. Uh, the main idea with ChatGPT is to ask uh, him a question. Um, there are a few tweaks and a few things that you have to keep in mind. Um, that ChatGPT is not working with uh, real-time data. You can ask him, uh, for instance, if uh, I do this test, uh, what's the weather today? You don't need to ask him a uh, question mark. But um, so as I said, um, ChatGPT is based on data and uh, the model is trained on existing data. Um, all the data have been created in 2021, so you can add access data no, uh, any longer than any earlier, any later, sorry, uh, uh, than that. But um, why so many people are talking about ChatGPT is that because you can basically, it can basically answer most of the static question you have. For instance, um, uh, let's say uh, I want to know. Uh, I'm going to ask him uh, 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 to translate something from French to English. So uh, I can ask him either in French, English or any, uh, any foreign language. Um, so, um, bonjour, je m'appelle. Un expert. Je suis en train d'écrire. Un tutoriel pour chat GPT. So basically, what I wrote is that uh, hello, my name is MXP and I'm writing a tutorial for chat GPT. Uh, it's gonna answer me uh, in French, but uh, translate if I ask him uh, traduit so basically in English, but I can, uh, I can tell in French to translate in English. Tra translate uh, in English. La réponse précédente. So translate in English. My previous answer, I mistyped uh, English uh, for specific purpose and basically translate it very well. Um, uh, what I wrote, uh, let's say I want to just copy it uh, and type this in English. And voila. So uh, why so many people are talking about ChatGPT for that? It seems to be very clever. Uh, actually, it's clever most of the time. But you need to be very accurate uh, if you you want to um, use it very wisely. Uh, for instance, uh, the main problem with ChatGPT is to give you as much context as you need, uh, and uh, it needs to to answer your question. Uh, we're gonna try to solve math problem. Uh, let's say I have 
Uh, 64. Uh, let's say 64 uh, sticks. Now, I use to, sorry, I used to have 23 earlier. My dad, how many my dad gave blood? So I'm asking to solve a basic problem uh, and it computed uh, here very simple uh, in, a, in a simple way. Uh, if I do have, uh, let's uh, search for another problem. Uh, here's a problem in French. I'm going to ask first uh, to translate it uh, so as you guys can understand. So uh, here we're going to translate my math problem uh, into English and then I'm gonna ask him to solve the, 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 the last response he gave me so as you saw uh, I gave him a problem in French ask him to translate and then I use the answer uh, to to ask him to solve it and as you can see it can explain quite well uh, the whole uh, problem down here and he, he, he is also telling you that uh, you have to be careful with uh, the problem being given since um, for instance it was about um, counting balls and solving the the one I've, I've been giving and uh, since it's not a rounding number and you can give uh, an, an approximate number of balls uh, you have to be careful with the problem being solved so it has, it has a, a little bit of intelligence about how you can follow things and uh, being careful with that. As I said, uh, what's very important uh, with ChatGPT is to give you, to give it some context and a better context to have a better answer. Um, I've been starting to use it a, a lot and taking care and taking uh, an AI as taking a lot of my intention recently, since um, there are many things you can do with AI from, from basically uh, generating images your prompts uh, turning then to avatars you see at the, the beginning of my video and as I said here uh, the, the this tutorial is the first part of doing your own AI avatar and I give you a uh, very step by step how you can use it so um, so I, I, I use chat GPT to generate some titles for instance for YouTube uh, let's say um, as a YouTuber generate uh, a title a description uh, in less than well, let's say uh, characters for, for 500 characters and uh, 20 hashtags about a video uh, dealing with creating an AI avatar with the image generated by me journey and the avatar being animated by they are let's be sure that I didn't restyle the things hashtags um, let's see what ChatGPT is gonna answer us. So, as you saw, it understood that I need a title, a description, uh, in less than 500 characters, and then the 20 hashtag I need. So, once you have asked ChatGPT all the things that you need, uh, you will just basically, it's just basically then copy and paste um the, the the text it has given you uh, let's say i want to have um make variation of the title so as you see it understood that i need the previous answer got the title and then is providing some variation 
uh, file, I can uh, put a number I need uh, of idle. And basically that uh, the way uh, it's, it's really speeding up sometimes your, your, your YouTube creation. Um, and as you saw, uh, it just generated me uh, all the thing I need to to create uh, the YouTube caption, the title, the hashtag to put right into it. Um, my advice with ChatGPT is then to have to be very careful with it and to know how to generate it, uh, to give him uh, the, the best context. Uh, let's use it another time uh, just to to give you the first step on the, the next video and you can uh, train yourself, uh, generate things and to be sure that to be uh, tunes next week to, to see how we're going to generate our own avatar image. So, um, let's say um, generate mid journey prompt to create a realistic avatar of any gender you want. So I'm going to ask him for, um, let's say, a baby. Uh, full face superman or maybe just superhero yes let's say superman superman uh, dressed uh heart with uh, eye resolution so it's gonna create all the thing i need uh, from a journey the prompt uh, and uh, we're gonna see on next video how to use this prompt or maybe uh, what we're gonna do uh, is just uh, use the description uh, maybe summarize the description uh, with adjective And then uh, you have uh, all the things that you need to put then into mid journey prompt. Uh, so basically, that's a, the very quick tour on uh, how I'm using ChatGPT. Uh, I've also been using it for generating code, or for instance, uh, developing apps since I'm a uh, mobile developer too. And uh, if you do have any question about how to use it and to need to improve the way you're using ChatGPT, just to comment down below uh, and send me also in the comments your best answer or your more, your more humorous one so I can uh, check if uh, major uh, if uh, ChatGPT sorry is prompting me the thing too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. Uh, if you do like my content, please subscribe, turn on the bell, and then I will see you in the next video uh, in the next steps how to generate your own avatar. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, if you do like my content, please subscribe here on my YouTube channel, turn on the bell. And follow me on Instagram to see all the content you can make with Joel. Stay tuned.